Hello everyone, welcome to Switch Up as we once again have a look at some of the games coming out for the Switch in this upcoming week. In terms of dates, we'll be going from the 25th of September up until the 1st of October and there are quite a few very interesting looking games this week. It must be said, we'll start with any games that were missed from last week's video, as we always do, before going on to this week's games and you'll have to let me know in the comments section which ones you're looking forward to. Okay, with all that said, which games are coming this week? Let's find out. I'm going to stick a very quick edit in at the start of this video before we get to the main stuff and that's because the Nintendo Direct has just happened. I know how long this video is so I'm not going to go on for too long but there were a few stealth drops that we'll address very quickly. The first of those is Deltarune Chapter 1 and 2 are now available as free downloads. Deltarune of course is a part of the Undertale series and Chapter 1 has been available for a little while but you can now download that second chapter as I say for free. The second one is one I'm very excited about, this is Act Razor Renaissance. I'm a big fan of the original Act Razor on the Super Nintendo. There's never really been another game like it, not even its sequel really matched the original in terms of that unique two-fold gameplay of 2D platforming and city building. This has got remastered graphics, 15 new music tracks, new stories, expanded action it says, and auto save features with difficulty levels. Now on the original I always got to the last part which was a boss rush, could get right to the very end but could never beat it so I think it's time to put that to bed and finally beat this game. And the final one then is the Castlevania Advance Collection. This brings together the three Castlevania games from the Game Boy Advance being Circle of the Moon, Harmony of Dissonance and Area of Sorrow and also has a fourth game on here which is the Super Nintendo game Castlevania Vampire's Kiss. All four of those games together are available for £15.99 which seems pretty decent to be fair and as I said all of the games I've just mentioned are available now. Ok let's jump back to the original video. Just one entry for the games that are already out, it is a big one though, it's Diablo 2 Resurrected. This game originally released on Windows over 20 years ago now and this Resurrected edition includes remasters of both Diablo 2 itself and the Lord of Destruction expansion. We have a video on this game if you want more information, there is a link to it in the top pinned comment. Stick to the end of this little ad because we're giving away a few Switch games tied to it. A big thanks to Ace Defender for sponsoring this episode. As you know, my daughter is the mobile gamer of the house and as such, she's been playing through this one. It's a SRPG with some tower defense elements. There's a story that surrounds a rebellion in the Dragon Clan. Now you can see why my daughter loves it so much. And it threatens the balance of good and evil in the world. Unlike many mobile games, this is a traditional RPG storyline. It has 40 chapters, which amounts to almost 2000 stages. It combines those turn-based RPG battles with tower defense mechanics. You can vary the speed of the game play modes if you want to blast through it but you've got solo mode which is called expedition there's player versus enemies or player versus player experiences as well there are several different heroes five hero factions with 48 being available at launch and new ones added every two weeks. You can level up, combine your heroes and equip different gear. Now to the juicy stuff. For those who download the game using the link in the top pinned comment and let us know your in-game user ID, not only will you get everything you see on screen when you reach level 10, we've got a few copies of a Switch game to give away and also it really helps us out here on the channel. Right, let's get on. The first of this week's games then is called Connect Tank and is published by Natsume. According to the blurb, you play as a courier but have an oversized tank to help make your job that bit easier. The use of the tank is necessitated, it seems, by the fact that there are so many other tanks out there making your job more difficult. You can craft ammo and equipment from the parts of tanks that you defeat or even use those tanks too. It all sounds pretty crazy and has a pleasing cartoony art style and it releases on the 28th of September. Drivers are handsomely rewarded by me. Dashing industrialist and proud capitalist, Phineas Fat Cat the 15th. You'll be given access to our company's most sophisticated vehicles, and you'll need them as you drive across scorched deserts, lush forests, and ice. Then there is a game called Unmetal, which looks very much like the classic Metal Gear, the top down MSX original. You play as Jesse Fox, who finds himself imprisoned in a covert military base and must escape using his wits, his words, and a few items and weapons for good measure. You can use stealth to take down enemies and do whatever it takes to escape, as the blurb puts it. It sounds as if there is a healthy dollop of satire and a large number of pop culture references. It releases on the 28th for £17.99 or your regional equivalent. Thank you. 
Another really interesting retro inspired game after that and it's called Steel Assault. This is an action platformer which boasts fluid side scrolling combat, a stylish moveset and tons of enemies and bosses to fight. It's set in a 16-bit post-apocalyptic world and features a grappling hook and zipline mechanic. Again, sounds like another classic game in Bionic Commando on that front at least. This one will sell for £11.99 and it also releases on the 28th. Then we have Darius HD, which is a port of G Darius, which first released in arcades back in 1997. The port is being handled by M2, who have a very impressive resume in bringing emulations of classic games to consoles. This was the first game in the Darius series to feature 3D polygonal graphics, although the gameplay itself remains on a 2D horizontal plane. This will release again on the 28th, and it sells for £24.99. You also have Agatha Christie, Hercule Poirot, the first cases this week. Based on the early cases of the legendary detective, you must solve a complex murder case where everybody has something to hide. You will be questioning suspects, taking notes of suspicious behavior, and using your deductive skills to link clues in your mind map. This is the second Poirot game on the Switch after the ABC murders. We actually reviewed that one. I'll stick a link to it in the top pin comment if you are interested, and this one will sell for £34.99 or your regional equivalent. Hot Wheels Unleashed comes out on the 30th and challenges you to collect the best cars in the Hot Wheels universe whilst building spectacular tracks and taking part in breathtaking races. You can race in split screen multiplayer or face up to 12 opponents online or you can unleash your creativity in the track editor, bending and stretching those orange pieces Hot Wheels are well known for whilst adding loops, boosters and more. I'm sure there'll be a lot of nostalgia for Hot Wheels out there, and if you are interested in this game, it will sell for £39.99. We also have Unsighted, which tells the story of a war between androids and humans. You play as Alma and must find a way to recover your memories and save your friends from being unsighted. To do this, you will be solving puzzles, gathering new abilities and tools to get past obstacles, and using a variety of weapons from ranged to melee to suit your playstyle. Co-op is also available and there is a demo on the eShop if you want to try before you buy and it's out on the 30th and will cost £17.99. Next up is Astria Ascending, a hand-drawn turn-based RPG set in the world of Orkanon. You will be visiting five different cities populated by unique characters and solving more than 20 dangerous dungeons. The blurb says that the story revolves around betrayal, sacrifice and terror, and it goes on to say that this is a more mature experience with extensive dialogue. Take that as you will, I guess. You can pick from eight customizable characters spanning a range of fantastical races, and there are also 20 classes to choose from. It sells for £35.99 and is another game out on the 30th. Hit an enemy's weakness, we gain more of them. Let me show you what we're made of. More. Then you have Death's Gambit Afterlife, another game with lovely pixel work, and this is an enhanced version of a game that released for Windows and a PS4 back in 2018. This is a 2D action RPG where you play as Death's right hand, challenging the undying guardians of the realm to purge their souls. This Afterlife edition features 10 new levels, 30 weapons and 5 new bosses, as well as some mechanical overhauls. The original seems to have scored well and perhaps if you have played it, you can let us know your thoughts in the comments section. It sells for £17.99, but it does have 10% off of that price up until the 6th of October. What do you dream of becoming, Soren? The immortals of Kaelic Shoreline will stop at nothing to preserve their immortality. Death. 
Also out is gear shifters and arcade shoot em up with roguelite elements. You will be drifting, smashing and gunning your way through waves of enemy vehicles whilst tuning your car with mods, defences and weapons for each mission. There are boss battles as you defeat the lawless factions that dominate this dystopian future and successfully completing missions will see you get paid so that you can upgrade further. It's going to cost £22.99. Next then we have FIFA 22 and yes it is a legacy edition once again. This means it's time for EA to dust off the source code from FIFA 21 from the EA vault of laziness and tweak the kits, players etc for the new season whilst leaving everything else exactly as it was. This is made all the more ridiculous when you realise of course that 21 was the same as 20 which in turn was the same as 19. If you do want the latest version, and I do get it by the way, facetious rant aside, I am a big football fan myself and it's always nice to see your team with the latest squad and represented in their new kits. And this does include the traditional career mode, online and local seasons, as well as licensed and custom tournaments, and of course the FIFA Ultimate Team mode, which is so popular. It will set you back £34.99, which is actually £10 cheaper than last year's Legacy Edition, so I suppose that's something, and it's out on the 1st of October. Next is Mary Skelter Finale. This is the last instalment in the Dungeon Crawling RPG trilogy. You can zap between six characters to dive deeper into their individual stories, and this will also allow you to coordinate puzzle solving through dungeons filled with traps. There are three light novels included digitally in the game to help immerse you in the Mary Skelter universe, and all of the event scenes from Mary Skelter Nightmares and Mary Skelter 2 are included in the Before Story option. It comes out on the 1st of October and will sell for £44.99 or your regional equivalent. And finally for the week we have Super Monkey Ball Banana Mania Digital Deluxe version. Now I've said this before about Sega releases and I just want to reiterate, their practice these days seems to be to release a more expensive Digital Deluxe version on the Friday before the standard version's release on the following Tuesday. So this version also includes some classic character and customization packs, the full list is on the eShop, whereas the standard release will be out next week as I said on Tuesday. Anyway, this new Monkey Ball game is releasing to celebrate the 20th anniversary of the series and features more than 300 courses taken from the first three games in the series being Super Monkey Ball, Super Monkey Ball 2 and Super Monkey Ball Deluxe. There are 12 mini games featured including Monkey Racing, Monkey Bowling and Monkey Baseball and you can compete for top scores on the online leaderboards. This deluxe version will cost you £44.99 or the standard release is £10 cheaper if you want to wait that bit longer and pick it up that way. So there you have it, another week of Nintendo Switch releases, I think it's actually a pretty decent week. You've got some bigger known games and a few smaller ones that actually look really interesting. Unmetal and Steel Assault look really good for games that I knew very little about before looking on the eShop for this video. And you've even got Centipede Recharge which didn't even make the list, I love Centipede so I'll be looking at that one too. Please do let us know which games you are interested in or picking up, stick it all in the comment section below. A big thank you to the sponsors of this week's video, full links to their product are in the top pinned comment and this video's description. A thank you to our Patreons as always for your continued support and to each and every one of you for watching our videos. Take care and until next time, happy gaming.